Hello YouTube, time for a video again. Well this is a part two of my fish tour. So uh, today we're going outside in my fish room. So like uh, my regulars will know I have lots of aquariums up in the house. And then I also got my little fish room down the bottom. But if you're new to this channel, check out part one. Part one was uh, me going around my uh, home. So me and my missus love keeping these sort of fish like. So we went around the home and uh, filmed the aquariums around the home. So today is part two in the little fish room. So, uh, well, my regulars will know I'll keep repeating myself. This is Mr and Mrs Wolfie, my dovey. He's a 20 incher, but he lives up in the house. So the, the video's not about you today, mate. Female's got just got in that pot. That pot is about two foot long. And he's like 20 inches. Anyway, uh, what are we going on? I'm waffling on already, like. I've got to get this done, haven't I? I've got to go outside, show my little fish room. So let's get on it. Let's get on it. Right, down the garden we go to look at the fish room. As we're going down there, we'll pass old Stroppy. Say hi, Stroppy. We're going to look at the fish room. Bit of a tour. Fish room tour. My little fish room. Before we get down there, though, I'll introduce you into my biggest red devil. Now, this is my biggest red devil. This is a beast. Diavol which is Italian for devil. And uh, I don't feed this beast on uh, high calorie pellets. This beast eats Harley Davison's. He eats Harley Davison's for breakfast. Well, I apologize to all you, all you over the pond there who are probably Harley Davison fans, but I like the Italian, I'm a Japanese boy. So anyway, this is a fish room. Let's open the door, take a quick peek. Like, there we go. We've got a stack there, two, four, six tanks there. We've got all tanks this side. Anyway, we'll go, we'll go in and I'll go, go through them uh, step by step. Right, we'll start off with this tank. This is uh, my Rio Hondo Carpenters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go through these, these tanks one by one, but I've got to not try to worry too much about the glare because uh, otherwise I'll be here all day. Anyway, this is the Rio Hondo Carpenter, so he's doing fine. I, I love this fish. Look at, look at the blue coloration on him, he's, he's gorgeous. Look at that lot, absolute stunning fish. But uh, I've actually got uh, one, two, three. I've got about four aquariums taken up with these carpenters, so I'm gonna have to uh, move some of them and sell them. But this is a lovely male. I just wanna grow him on as like a nice specimen. Let's just chuck some pellets in this top corner. It was a bit shy, there he goes. Yeah, so uh, he's, he's in this uh, four, four foot 18 by 18. I can't get, I can't get further enough back to get it all in. Four foot 18 by 18 with uh, three sponge filters, which is probably a bit overkill. Spon three sponge filters. I bet two sponge filters would do the uh, do the trick. Yeah, so uh, I, I love him, Rio Hondo Carpenters. But uh, a lot of people will call it a Texas. But as we keep saying, it's not a Texas. It's from Mexico. The sign of guitar term is the true Texas with the little tiny spots. But I think the Carpenters is a far better looking and more colourful fish. Anyway, enough on this tank, we'll move to the next one. Right, these are me Red Tiger, right, Red Tiger Moto grow outs. And like I said, I've said before, I, these are absolutely evil upon one another. I started off with uh, eight and I'm down to five. I've got three males and uh, two females. That's a nice female. But the, the females are growing a lot quicker than the males. And also there's another one, this one's a bit ragged. That's a female 
carpenters, I'll just put it in here, out of the way, because I've got nowhere to put it. Well, that's a young male, but it's, look at how ragged his fins are. The females are outgrowing the males and hammering, hammering the hell out of the uh, males. Well, that's, look at that gorgeous shit. They're a bit shy. Yeah, so uh, that's another little male, he's all tatty. So I actually, uh, for a backup plan, I actually caught one of the males and re removed it just in case the females kill all of all the all the males. So next to this tank, oh, you can't see. He's, he's, not, he's hiding. There's too much glare. Anyway, next to this tank, there's a little tiny tank, and uh, I'll put him in there to like so his fins will heal up, and I can grow him on, fatten him up, just in case that everything goes wrong with hitting here. There's a male with ragged fins. Let's stand back a bit, see if they'll come out. No, they, they don't come out when I'm shouting with the camera. I'll just put it on pause for a sec and see if they come out. Well, it's typical, isn't it? Uh, wait, the minute you get your camera out, I want to film them, they, they all hide. I'll just stuck a couple of pellets, see if I coax them out with some pellets. Well, the pellets are in. And they're not, not interested. Anyway, uh, we better move on and do another tank. So the Red Tiger Motos, they're doing nice. I'm quite happy with them, apart from them murdering each other. That's a, uh, and they, they live next door to the Hondu carpenters who uh, we've just been talking about. So let's move on and have a look at another aquarium. Right, I've moved down one shelf, and uh, these are me Paracromus multifasciatus. What was uh, Freddy's, but now been re. Uh, renamed these, these are not shy i had they're not nowhere near as aggressive as the red tiger motos i started off with seven and i've still got seven they're getting some of them are getting quite big but they've not really they're not really pairing at all yet they're all in this corner because i know it's uh feeding time so i'll uh there we go look put some pellets up here there they go Sorry about the glare and the focus and that, but uh, yeah, they're not shy at all. I mean, that's a, that's a nice male coming on. I think he's the dominant male. He's a, he's a beauty. I mean, that one there, that one ain't got a lot of colour to it yet. It quite possibly could be a female, but the female will come out not nice later. Anyway, that's that's quite quieted them down a bit, hasn't it? Anyway, let's look at the tank from another angle. Right, I'm very limited for space in here, in this fish room, which is good for one thing and bad for another thing. Bad because I can't get back and show you the whole tank, but good for econ economic reasons, keeping the uh, heated. You know, it doesn't cost much to heat this fish room. In fact. I, I can run this fish room, i got two 180s, six like uh, four foot 18 by 18, so it's probably, they're not quite 75s, probably 65. I, I can run all that and a load of three foots and that, I can run all these tanks, aquariums, on these spun fi filters with one little uh, radiator for the same price as what some people would run, say one, uh, one, one large aquarium, let's say a 180 or so. So this again has got three sponge filters in it. I mean, it's a, it's a four foot long tank, but there's, look, there's no fish there. They're all up this end because they, they want the, the gripe greedy. I'll, I'll uh, put some more in. Here we go, some more. Look at them. Blooming it like piranhas. I, I've never known such uh, greedy fish. Anyway, it's... it's uh, I, I, like I said, I've got to apologise for the photography and the uh, thing. It, it is what it is. I just want to show, share my hobby and show you what's going on around here. Look at them all. Seven. And they're all getting big. It's a wonder they haven't started killing each other like the Tiger Motos have. And a Dovo I would do. Anyway, uh, when the pair off, I'll, get, I'll, I'll select me a nice pair. That's the, that's the best male. I'll select a nice pair and sell the rest on. Let's move on to another tank. You're waffling on too much, Wads. 
Stop waffling and get on with it. Right, I've moved on to the tank next to the uh, Freddy's or Multifaciatum. There they are, look, the Multis. Parachromus Multis. So this is me uh, backup pair of HNCs, Jack and Vera. Well, uh, the tank's got a lot of brown algae and that on there. It really needs a good clean out, but I've been trying to keep my hands out because, I don't know whether you can see here, can you see all these little wigglers all on the glass, on the bottom of the glass? Yeah, so they've got a bunch of wigglers in there. Not too many, but they are, they are in there, like. So uh, I'm trying to keep me, keep my hands out the tank and don't do me uh, cleaning. So this is a, I know that I know this tank is too small and people say you can't keep them in there forever. I do understand all that, like. Uh, this is only a four foot eighteen by eighteen again with. Uh, Sponge filters. Three three sponge filters. Which is perfectly adequate. Highly uh underestimated uh, sponge filter. You can't be a good old sponge filter. Yeah, so uh, these are doing fine. I only keep these in case anything to go goes wrong with me uh the pair I have up in the house. I'm always like that. I always like seem to have like a, a backup pair in case it goes wrong. But she's looking lovely and black. She's uh, looking after her, her young uns. So Jack and Vera, that is. Uh, I mean, if everything goes good with the ones up in the house and goes good with these, there's going to come a time when I'm going to have to sell these because I cannot accommodate. I've got that many fish what grow into monsters. I cannot accommodate them all, so some have to go. Anyway, stop waffling. We've got us will be going on too long. We'll, uh, we better move on and see an, see another aquarium. Like, uh, Jack, he keeps his, when the fryer in, there he is, Jack keeps his distance. Because that, the female, that's why they call them black nasties, I would imagine. The female, she, she doesn't half give him some hammer. Don't you love? You put your man in place. See where the trails is. Anyway, let's move on. Oh no, what's well, we'll just watch this? You know who wears the trousers in air house? Oh, I wear the trousers in air house, I'll tell you, mate. Oh my man, oh, I wear the trousers in my house. But when I get up in the morning, she tells me which ones I have to wear. <laughs> Silly old git. Right, I've moved down an, another shelf now. This is a, another pair of jags. What, uh, well, actually, my, my local fish store a few months ago rang me up and said, oh, we've got some fishing here you might be interested in. Kind of a rescue job. But uh, they've done really well. When I first got them in, there was fussy eaters and that, and I've, uh, I've took good care of them. And they're, they're absolutely beautiful at the moment now. They eat like blooming pigs. They'll eat anything. Anyway, uh, but I'm going to have to move these on. I've, been, I've actually put them up for sale. Just because I need, I need to move them on. Because I'm going to need these tanks for when all these uh, like uh, red dove eyes and the uh, tiger motos and the, the freddies, where they all start pairing up and uh, that, I'll, I need other tanks to move things along. And also what we've got in here is my bitecher. Do you think he saw us? Uh, Polypterus, Polypterus del Delizo, if I'm saying that correctly. So he's loving life, and he's a lucky old guy, because my regulars will know he actually... He ha actually was... Oh, we'll, go, we'll go up... This, this is the uh, Black Masses, and we'll move along to this one. These are the uh, Maltes, Paracromus Multifaciatus, what was Freddy's. So he, he was in that tank and he escaped. I don't know how he did it, lot, but he uh, climbed down here and he ended up in this one. There he goes. Yeah, so he ended up in here. So anyway, these, these need to go. I mean, I'd love to keep them. You, you can't keep all your fish what you want, can you? Because you just haven't got the tank space. So... Uh, a nice pair of uh, Jaguars. If anybody's interested, send me a message or whatever. 
Oh, they are up in, in the UK on Aquis Classifieds. Look them up on the Aqu Aquis Classifieds UK. Anyway, we've had, a, we've had a long look at the Jags. Let's move on to another aquarium. Right, what, what we have here is another pair of uh, Rio Hondo cabinets. Like I said, I've got loads of these. Like, I brought, I brought a bunch of fry, I don't know, I don't know, a year, probably nearly two years ago now. And they're all grown on lovely. But this, these are really shy, this one. Because I've uh, just put these two together. I've got the uh, the hole in the divider method again. So I've got that one in there, which is a female, I believe. And she goes through the divider. And there's another male. And he, he's a bloody good one and all. In my opinion, anyway. But he's a bit dark and stressed at the moment. Because he hasn't been in here long. But, uh, yeah... They'll come round. There, you can see you can see the holes I've cut in this divider, so uh, she can get through and he can't. Anyway, uh, another four foot eighteen by eighteen again with three sponge filters. So uh, we've seen enough of them. Let's let's move on to another aquarium. Right, I've moved down the shelf from uh, the dove eyes, and this is Little Morris. I mean, I've had him ages. If some, if you ever go back to some of my fish room tours, I had a big Morris. I had a big Morris and a little Morris. This is a little Morris. He's he's doing good. But what I've noticed, there's me going on about how brilliant these sponge filters are. He's been a bad boy today, ain't you, Morris? Look what I got floating up there. A bloody sponge filter. So what, I know what he's, why he's done it, because like I put a divider in this tank, and there's his uh, female, but he actually batted her, batted her a while ago. So like I'll just give her a time out to heal up, and in the, in here we've got like a uh, dove eyes. What are growing on? Well, not growing on. To be honest, these dove eyes we'll put in here as tiny, tiny, tiny fry. That looks like it's going to be a nice female. Yeah, these dove eye were put in here, here as tiny, tiny, tiny fry. So was that convict. See that convict going under that rock? They were put in here as tiny, tiny, tiny fry as feeders. But convicts being convicts and dove eyes being dove eyes, they get really, really cunning. The masters of survival. So, like, you get if you've got some rocks in your tank. They're always, you're always going to get survivors. So there's his uh, female. And there's Morris. Look at his uh, blunt face. You can tell he's a Midas, can't you? He looks like he's run into a brick wall and squashed his face flat. Anyway, uh, we better move on again. So I need, to, I need to move some of these fish on. Like, I need to sell these dove eyes. I mean, what can I do with these dove eyes? So if anybody wants a dove eye, that's about a five inch female and the glass divider. That could be a male, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm waffling on too much again. Nobody's going to watch these videos to the end. Surely to God. Right. What's Morris doing down there? There's something down there. There's, I think there's a, some convict fry behind there as well. But well, he's looking quite good, actually. But I need this tank for future uh, projects, so I'm going to have to sell some of the fish. But there's one thing, I'm not going to sell Morris. I might sell the female, but I'm not selling Morris. Right, this tank down there, this is only a, a three-foot tank, and it's just all I've got is here is a few convicts keeping it cycled. Uh, I'll chuck a bit of grub in here, like, see if they'll come out. There we go, we've got about, they're all darting about everywhere. There's about six convicts in here. If I leave it long enough, I'll end up about 600. Look at them, look. Anyway, you know, there's, there's not going on here, but this is a tank I can use for other projects. But you can't beat a nice convict, can you, really? I've got them dotted about all over the place. Look at that one, look. 
They love a convict. If you've only got a small aquarium, you know, three, three foot, four, three, you know, three foot or so, and you want to get into the American cichlids, get yourself a convict. Beautiful. And you can watch the, the uh, breeding behaviour. What like most of these substrate spawners do. And the convicts are no exception, but they're good at it. So let's um, let's move on. Like one shelf up from the convicts. So we've got another three foot here. With another, not another bloody carpenters. How many carpenters have you got, Woods? I've got loads of them anyway. This is this is a nice one coming on. But like I say, in the in my fish room it looks all scruffy. These are behind there, look at that, look at all it looks scruffy, but what do you do? You do your best, don't you? And try to look after the fish. But the fish are healthy. But some of the tanks might need a bit of cleaning on the glass on the inside and the outside. Let's move on and stop waffling! Right, there's there's not a lot more I can film in here really. Because uh, some of these aquariums, I don't even got lights on them. I just use them for growing out tanks. The fish don't bother too much about the light. In fact, a lot of them prefer dim light. So we'll uh, we better wrap this video up. I'll just show you like uh, the ones with no lights on. Tiger motos, they've got a light on. Well, like I said, I was uh, growing a little tiger mo. There it is, hiding behind the sponge. We'll go down here. We've got another tank here, little fishy in it. Another one down here. Not another carpenters. We've got carpenters everywhere. Blooming heck. It's like dog muck, isn't it? Anyway, uh, and then we'll have another look round. Well, another tank with no uh, light. Well, now this tank looks absolute garbage on here, but this is these are just like. Uh, Wild, wild warriors fry. These are about like, uh, I don't know, probably nearly getting to an inch long now. I've got about, I think I've got eight, eight of these what I decided just to grow on. I don't know whether I'll grow them on properly or flog them on sort of thing, but like, let's move across. So there he is, old wild warrior. There he is, young'uns. Anyway, uh, waffle on, let's wrap this video up. We'll go in the house and we'll wrap this video up. Right, we're back here again at uh, Wolfie's tank because uh, everybody likes to see Mr and Mrs Wolfie. But uh, it's time to wrap the video up. Uh, I hope uh, it wasn't too dragged out and uh, boring. I hope it kept people, uh, people's attention span. I know people's attention span is very limited. <laughs> anyway, uh, got in there. Look at it. Look at it. It's got a long, it's got a long snout. Costa Rican and a little knuckle hump. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Until next time, uh, happy fish keeping to you all. Oh look, they're having a bit of a bit of a uh, domestic. Right, happy fish keeping to you all. Say goodbye to Wolfie. Ta-ra, Wolfie. Till next time.